What's up guys, this is Burt Music and welcome to the broken shotgun attachment in Modern Warfare. If you guys aren't familiar with this, there was an update that happened in Modern Warfare that somehow broke the FR556. There's clips of people going around with this thing in Warzone and just one-shotting people, completely deleting them off the face of the planet. But here's the catch, it doesn't really have anything to do with the gun itself, but it's more so about the shotgun attachment. For some reason, and no one knows why, but specifically just for this one gun, if you use the shotgun attachment, you can delete people. But before we dive into this, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now I know you're watching this video sitting in your beanbag chair thinking Eric doesn't play Raid Shadow Legends. Well, guess what? You have heavily underestimated how much free time I have. I don't know what all of that was about, but yeah, I mean, as far as it goes for Raid Shadow Legends, I've been grinding the missions and stuff. I'm about to get Arbiter. She's pretty much the legendary champion you get for basically beating the game. I just need to finish this last clan boss mission and then I'm good to go. There's a lot of other really cool stuff going on in the game. They added some more daily login rewards. All you have to do to get all of this free stuff is just log into the game. I'm about to get this champion here, Tanix Hate Flower, for the first 30 days of the daily login, and then I've got all of these rewards that I'm gonna get for free as well. So that's pretty cool. And another really Really cool feature that they added to the tag team arena in the bazaar is you can now use your fragments to get a legendary champion. And if you get 100 champion fragments from the tag team arena, you can get this legendary champion, Drexthar Blood Twin. You guys gotta see this dude. He's in the demon spawn faction. Just look at him. This guy's an absolute beast. I guess you could say if you unlock him, that'd be pretty fire. Wow, that was great. So with all that being said, if you've never played Raid before and you want to check the game out, I'll have a link in the description. And if you're a new player and you use that link, you'll get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, an energy refill, a clan boss key, five mystery shards, a one day XP booster, and a free champion known as Hex Weaver. Holy cow. I'm out of breath, guys. That was a lot to say. Because <laughs> that's a lot of free stuff. Hex Weaver's in the Dark Elves faction. She's right here. Looks like a pretty decent rare support champ. But yeah, once you download Raid, your new rewards will be right up here in the top right. I personally need to go through my stuff. There's just so much stuff stockpiled up in here. But yeah, go download Raid. The link will be in the description and I'm going to go back to Modern Warfare. But yeah, here's the FR556 build that I have. Obviously, you need the shotgun attachment. I put some other stuff on it to just kind of speed the gun up. All of this is just geared towards increasing the mobility and the ADS speed. So we're going to use this online in multiplayer, but where it really shines is Warzone because it can completely completely knock people down even if they have full armor. It's some crazy stuff. Game mode wise, I don't know if there's anything that great going on currently. There's no shipment, no shoot house, nothing like that. I think I might just do hardcore season five mosh pit because it's gonna have some bigger maps and showcase how much range the shotgun attachment has. So yeah, let's go. Just so you guys know, before recording this video, I did test this out in core against bots and it's really not that great. You know, it has the extended range, but it's not going to kill people immediately. I feel like where the shotgun attachment can potentially shine is in hardcore because it's gonna have the range buff and we got a game. Let's go check it out. Hopefully these shotgun shots are gonna reach them. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell where the crosshair is in hardcore, but hopefully we can get some like long shots or something. What? Dude! Okay, this thing's amazing in hardcore. That's just my first kill and I already know this is gonna be insane. Imagine using this thing on Piccadilly to snipe. Oh, the possibilities are endless. You know, I don't know why, but I'm actually really happy that this thing is broken right now. Like, I know Infinity Ward's gonna patch this. By the time I'm recording, you know, it might even be fixed. But this is actually a lot of fun to use. I mean, I know it's gonna be stupidly broken, but just in case you guys didn't know, there was a glitch identical to this in Modern Warfare 2. In a weird way, it almost kind of feels like a throwback to that glitch. Except the difference is you could use the shotgun attachment on any assault rifle and you could map people. You could cross map people with the shotgun on attachment easily like watch oh, i can't hit that teammate can i hit this guy i can hit him i don't think he's happy about it but <laughs> i don't know there's currently some rumors or some speculation going on that this was intentional because it was from modern warfare 2 originally i mean that's pretty good for a shotgun attachment not bad, not bad. are there more there are Nope. Oh, come on, dude, I almost had a split quad. And you know, the funny thing is that I always thought the FAMAS on its own was just really good. Like, I would just get the most ridiculous kill chains. I'm, not, I'm talking like 15-man kill chains. I uploaded them to nerd plays. <laughs> my lord. Reload it so I can get more. Dead. Oh my... I just got an 11 multi for an advanced UAV. So yeah, you guys are probably gonna be seeing this thing a lot if you haven't already. Someone's dog just tried to eat someone. But yeah, aside from the broken FAMAS, there's currently the Tamaguchi Turbo in the store. You can already see, I mean, it has the bespeckled cephalopod. I don't know if I'm gonna do a separate video on it or something, but incredible stuff, guys. I mean, these updates just get better and better. All right, we got some domination on Hovex Sawmill. Let's give it a try. Oh man, this map is actually looking really good on PC. I'm ready to map some people. Let's go. Broken shotgun attachment. Let's go. Oh, they're there. Ah, got too confident there. <laughs> that first shot was nice though. Can we get him from here? Nope, not that far. Okay, so that's pretty much the range. I can actually see the pellets almost making it to that dude. So yeah, this thing definitely has some pretty crazy range right now. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, I thought I had a double there for a sec. What? Where did I go? Okay. I think there's some people starting to get bothered by this. <laughs> 
That is some amazing range right there. Now, honestly, the biggest drawback to using this thing is the lack of ammo. You only get six shots, so you have to really make them count. I mean, I'm already out right now. Come on, dude. I almost had a quad feet with the actual gun. So close, man. I'm ready to hit. There we go. Hi, how are oh. you? Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Can I get him? Can I snipe that dude? Wait. Nope. Oh my god, he's barely showing himself. <laughs> that would have been so crazy if that shot actually landed. It's over already, man. I mean, I dropped 20 kills. It was decent. Could have definitely been a better match, but I mean, both sides were honestly camping pretty hard. But I still can't get over the range on this thing. I mean, it's crazy. Dude! A warning would be nice. Be right back. I gotta change my shorts. Look at him trying to crawl through. Look at that. What are you doing? I don't know, guys. I mean, this game has been through some pretty crazy phases. I mean, I think the more broken thing we had in the game at one point in time was the snake shot magnums. Those things at Kembo and Hardcore were so broken at the time. I think the biggest difference is that I'm gonna have to take this thing into war zone. We're gonna have to use this in like plunder or something to see how it really is. We'll do some plunder blood money so I can just spawn him with the class and keep using it over and over again. But yeah, as far as it goes for how broken this thing is in multiplayer, it's really like just kind of meh. <gasps> wait, I got the Igor skin? <gasps> yes, I got ugly Igor. Oh, I can't wait to check it out after this. I've got to main him now. But yeah, even though in multiplayer, you get like that extra little bit of range. It doesn't really make the shotgun attachment that much more powerful. Still gets hit marker. still doesn't have that great of range, especially in core. It's just, it's not that good. This right here in Warzone is where I'm hoping it actually shines. Okay. Let's see how it is. Wow, guys, it's not even broken. Look, it's not even doing any damage. Wow. Oh. Did I just get kicked in the back? I think maybe we'll just try to drop at stadium. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of people there. Hopefully there will be. I just really want a chance to test this thing out, man. Just like that? You got- Dude, are you kidding me? That dude completely had to jump on me and I got him. <laughs> oh my god, that is terrible. But like in the best way possible. Like that is so broken. Okay, now I see the hype. I think I get it now. That is redonkulous. I think we can get the beat on this guy. I don't think this guy sees us. Okay, maybe he does. Maybe he does. Just like that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing! I'm bad, but I can finally be good by being bad and using this broken shotgun. Like, how does this even happen? How did they break this thing? Great! Oh, you got the breaky! Oh, cool! <laughs> Who even uses that shotgun? Obviously, I'm using the best one right now. There's a lot of people around here. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And he's out. Who else can we get? You two? Okay. Easy. Again, the issue though is that you really don't get that much ammo. I should have really just been knocking those people like that, but there's a wipe. Yeah, this thing's crazy. For multiplayer, I give this thing like a C minus, but it's like S tier in Warzone. Wow. I'm actually really surprised I didn't die there. Oh god. Damn, I got his armor broken, but it was a good run. Ooh, we got some enemies over here. Okay. Let's get the shotgun ready for him. Oh god. Okay, he's down, he's down. He's down too. Perfect. Oh my god. Uh, oh, whoa! Quad feed! <laughs> oh my god, this is so much fun. We're at 10 kills right now, guys. Oh sh Dang it. Alright, they got me now, but you're next. I can't believe this is a real thing. I have so many questions, like how and why. Out of the blue, this thing just randomly gets broken and is extremely overpowered. Gotta love to see it, guys. Imagine if there was like an actual tournament or something going on and people were using this. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, guys, we had to remove the FAMAS from the game. It's experiencing some uh, slightly weird issues. I gotta use the actual gun because they're too far away. Or am I? <laughs> no, stop it. Now, can I get some more ammo with the munition box? That's the question. Oh, eight shots? Okay, I know what I'm doing all weekend now. Oh, what's that? A vehicle? Nope, I don't think so. My aim was a little off there, but I mean, we got him. Set the Warzone kill record with this thing. But I have to put in the title somewhere completely legit not using this gun. But then still use it anyway. I'm kidding. I'm not going to try to use this thing and be like, oh, I'm not like, the best player ever. It's just fun to use, you know? Like, it's terribly broken. And there's a pretty good chance by the time this video is up that it will be fixed. But for the time being, I'm going to have a blast with this. Oh my god. Or I can get shot. Or I can die. It's always an option too. There you are. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> 
I don't know what happened to his body at the end, but I mean, we did okay. We just died a lot and lost all the money at the end. But yeah, this shotgun attachment is completely broken in Warzone. I had 14 kills kind of just playing casually. I mean, it's hilarious. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use the broken FAMAS shotgun attachment in Modern Warfare. And again, big thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't checked the game out yet, click the link in the description, download the game, and get a ton of free rewards. But with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see Infinity War break some more guns on Modern Warfare, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Yeah!